Hello, it's Elder here, and today I wanted to go ahead and review these East Shine lithium ion batteries 18650, and they are rechargeable. Uh, I have used these in the past for my high drain devices like uh, tactical flashlights, and uh, was very impressed with them. And the uh, one thing that I want to harp on is the, uh, the safety feature. Um, when I was sent these to review, I was excited because, of course, I was getting some, uh, some other gear and important gear that I actually utilize. And uh, also wanted to share this information with you as well as our uh, Natural Training Center members. So what's cool about these batteries is there's a lot of confusion because there's uh, different size batteries that have this same nomenclature of the uh, 18650. Uh, so people have certain devices and they're buying this battery because it's a 18650 going to put it in their device and it just doesn't fit if we were to compare this 18650 to another uh, one that's very popular uh, you can tell that the east shine is a bit girthier it's also longer and up on top here on the positive end you can tell that the nipple actually extends where on a lot of the other batteries uh, they're flat uh, so it's a very good thing to have this exposed uh, because there's more uh, surface room, so to speak, to make contact. So very good for these high drain devices, um, such as these uh, high loom flashlights. But once we go into something, let's say like a, uh, a vape or a mod for vaping, uh, pe people are having issues, of course, because it's not really designed to fit some mods. All right, I'll show you on a few that they do work, which I happen to own, but on other ones, there's a lot of complaints and uh, even a few of our natural chaining center members that do vape um, you know, complained that they were able to use these and thought that they could swap them out between their flashlight and their vape and unfortunately they cannot. Um, the, uh, one of the reasons also is that there's an actual circuit board in here which is really um, the number one point that I like. Of course they perform great, uh, they last long, all the other good stuff, very highly rated but I also get great performance out of other batteries that are a lot less expensive. The, the uh, issue is and why I opt for these in my high drain devices is because of the fact that it does have that extra protection, that extra circuit board in there that protects it against overcharging, uh, protects it against short circuiting, uh, over discharging, all of these things that uh, wreak havoc. Um, many of you know that do vape. Uh, that once you put your battery in here, you kind of press it for a few seconds, uh, inhale, let go, and you're not really uh, affecting that battery anymore. Once we do go ahead and we have our uh, flashlights, they stay, tend to stay on a bit longer uh, for a lot of tasks. So giving you an example, when I'm out in a field, let's say at base camp, and I were to lend uh, a natural training center member my flashlight, which this has happened, and what ends up happening is that they'll go, let's say, make a head call, so they'll go to the bathroom, port john whatever's available uh, at base camp, and uh, they'll take my flashlight and they'll end up coming back leaving the flashlight on because we're in the middle of uh, the campfire and talking and whatever and they just forget. Half hour later I go to pick this flashlight up and it is on fire. All right, so that gets kind of scary, right? It gets you thinking. Uh, this could really turn into a field expedient pipe bomb, right? If, if you have the wrong things in there that you can't really trust. So being able to have this now with this uh, circuit board in here that's protecting me against things like that and the overheating uh, really brings home the reason uh, why I prefer these uh, eShine for my low drain devices, all right? Um, going to uh, the vaporizing now you can tell that this battery fit in here no problem all right even though it is a little bit bigger so there it is a little bit more a, uh, accommodating when we have uh, these mods some of them accommodate and obviously there's a lot of them out there that don't because many people are complaining so you could tell i took the standard battery out of there that i had that i use for let's say vaping but i can go ahead and put this uh, east shine in there and because of the fact that this one is adjustable, right? So it really all depends on the features. But the one thing that I do want you to keep in mind is that uh, eShine does make a specific battery. Now there's an extra number uh, that they actually add to it or a letter uh, at the end of it, which is a, um, a U, I think is what it is. Yes, yeah, so it would, if you're looking for the vape one from what the manufacturer says, once again, I'll put all this information in the blog post um, you know, with all the other specs. But there is one that would uh, fit it, which are closer to the dimensions of this. So if you are, are having a problem with your uh, mod, um, which you could tell I am not um, for this particular size or this particular mod. But if you are, eShine does accommodate you. Uh, just make sure that you're uh, getting the, uh, the right specs for what you need. I have another uh, type of mod here. Okay, this one isn't adjustable on the bottom, but my uh, 
eShine works in here also, right? So it fits, you could tell it's a relatively light fit. It's really flush, uh, where the other one actually gives me a little bit more room. But I can go ahead and tighten this up and uh, should be good to go. I don't know if you could tell on there it says low, so it's working, you know, good to go. Um, so once again, uh, for those of you that are wondering uh, about the mod, it really depends on the mod. Um, so it kind of works out well for me, even though I use these uh, for the vaping devices in a pinch, especially out in the field where you don't have, you might not have a ton of batteries or all your assortment. It's nice to know that I can interchange them. So make sure you get what works for you. Uh, and the most important thing is know ahead of time before you order it and then get disappointed. Uh, I've been very happy with this manufacturer. I mean, the way that the packaging came uh, was second to none. The fact that it had uh, the retail packaging, um, you know, with the with the, the wrap and everything, you know that they really care. Uh, comes with this little plastic thing for two batteries uh, to be able to put in there, a protective case. Um, and uh, more importantly, an 18 month warranty, right, on these batteries. Now that's really impressive. I mean, 18 months, I didn't get that type of warranty on my high drain uh, battery for my Jeep. Um, you know, so they really stand behind their product. Uh, and that's something that, uh, to me, that's a lot of credibility, right? Because especially we're out there, we're dropping our gear, doing all sorts of stuff. Uh, you know, thousand loom flashlights that we're, you know, they're constantly on for, you know, a long period, you know, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on what the task may be. So I want to make sure that I add that safety valve to myself and, of course, carry this information over to our Natural Training Center members. Uh, once again, this was the layperson review of these batteries. Uh, I will put all the specs and all that other stuff for all the uh, gurus out there that, uh, understand all of this uh, electrical stuff. I understand some of it, but not a lot of it, and I'm certainly not gonna pretend, all right? But as far as from my experience that I'm sharing with you, uh, hopefully you found this review helpful. Uh, once again, thank you for your time.